name's Roy Webb. I'm the builder of this housing development. Kind of proud of it, too. It's going to be a real nice place to live for a lot of folks. You know, I've been building houses for better than 20 years. And if there's one thing I've learned in all that time is that building is more than just brick and mortar and a lot of hard work. Building is people. People with hopes and dreams. People with problems to solve. People like Jack and Ruth Miller, a young couple who left here a few minutes ago. Like a lot of young couples today, Ruth and Jack dreamed for a long time about building a home of their own. They saved their money, and after a good deal of looking, picked a site here and settled on the kind of house I'm building in my development. Generally, they agreed. It suited both their tastes and their budget. Specifically, well, specifically, they couldn't agree at all. I just can't agree with you, Ruth. I know you want your wall-to-wall -wall carpeting throughout the house, but it's things like plumbing and wiring which matter in the long run, and I'm just not going to skimp on it. Jack, we've been over this before. And, and I've tried to show you. I know, there's only so much money. Right, and... But there's one thing I'm not going to do without. Wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. But... Even if it means skimping on things like, um, like those underground pipes or whatever they are you and Roy were talking about. Roy and I were discussing the sanitation and drainage system, dear. Well, I guess we need that, too, but... Jimmy! Don't you dare! Ah, this is just a practice mission. Never mind. I know all about your practice missions. Now, you sit in that big chair there and behave yourself. Okay, Mom! Now, now Jack... Ruth. Well, I was just going to say that, after all, I don't know anything about pipes or wires. That's just the point. But the first thing company always notices is how the floors look. Are we building this house for company or for ourselves? Well, you're at the office most of the time anyway. I'm the one that has to live in this house. Okay, okay. But you're not going to like it when your house is always being torn up for new plumbing or new wiring. I don't see why. Just because we didn't put in the best materials to begin with. Let's face it, this house is going to have to last us a long time. I know that, dear. So we've got to build it to last. You don't build a house every day. You build it once and... I know, I know, once and forever. That's right, isn't it, Roy? Of course, you do want to use the best materials you can. And you want as many extras as you can get, too. But I've learned from experience that buying or building a new home is almost always a compromise. Compromise between what you think you want and what your budget says you can have. The building of this house will probably be the largest single investment you'll ever make. There are lots of things I can help you with, but there are some decisions you'll have to make for yourself. Now, I can understand how... Where's Jimmy? He was sitting in that chair just a second ago. You go ahead, dear. I'll see if he's all right. Well, if you've broken that pipe, you can just pay for it out of your allowance. There you go, son. He didn't do any damage, ma'am. Matter of fact, if it'll make him feel any better, he can parachute jump on it all he wants. There's nothing he can do to hurt this pipe. It's cast iron. Well, thank you anyway, but I don't think it's too good an idea to have him jumping in and out of trenches. You're right. Might sprain his ankle or something. Jimmy, if you'll be careful and keep out of trouble, you can stay out here a while. Okay, Mom. Tell her to squat her and operate on secret orders. Stay near Mr. Webb's office now. Excuse me. Did you say this pipe was cast iron? Yes, ma'am. Well, what's it for? It's part of the drainage system. Matter of fact, when I get it all in the trench, it'll be the main part. 
Oh. You building here? Yes. My husband and Mr. Webb have been talking about plumbing and wiring and things like that. That's why I asked you about the pipe. Well, there's no need to get too technical about it. But this pipe runs from the street all the way up to the roof of your house. Carries waste out to the sewer. Keeps sewer gases from escaping. Something which would be a real danger and a menace to your health. Matter of fact, this pipe will help make your house a healthy place to live in. Well, I suppose it is important. But isn't there something else we could use? Maybe something a little cheaper? This pipe looks like it'll outlast the house. It will. Sure, you could use something else. There are cheaper materials. That's if you don't include the cost of installation. Then why not use them? If we buy the best of everything, we won't have enough money to build a house at all. Well, you know, it's a funny thing. But thinking back, I'd say that in the long run, cast iron's about the cheapest material you could use, as well as the best. They use it in all kinds of big hotels and office buildings and places like that, just because it does last so long and does such a good job. Oh. I'm afraid you won't save any money by using something else here. You just put this stuff down and forget about it. Once and forever. Well, I suppose you're right. Funny, but Jack's always talking about doing things once and forever. You know, Roy, I've been thinking this over. Maybe I'm not being fair to Ruth. Maybe I'm putting too much emphasis on this once and forever business. Maybe. But as you said yourself, Jack, you don't build a house every day. I know. She said her heart sat on that carpeting for a long time. And she'd sure be proud to have this house the way she wants it right from the start. Maybe I'm not being fair. Maybe I'm not being fair about this. You're right. In the long run, it is going to be cheaper to do things right from the start. You won't regret it, I'll guarantee you that. Once you put this pipe in, you can forget about it. It's watertight, gas tight, and root proof. Root proof? Underground roots, like these right here. Always trying to work their way into the system. If they do, you've got real trouble with a clogged up line. Well, how do you prevent it? Put in cast iron. I've never seen anything else which will keep them out like cast iron. Even the joints are sealed with metal. Here, I'll seal up these two sections to show you. Now, I've already put these together and filled in the joint with oakum. A little molten lead. Then, after caulking, it is gas tight and strong enough to be used anywhere. Even under a driveway or under your basement floor. And you don't need any expensive special tools to install it. No getting around it. A mighty nice job, if I do say so myself. You get what you pay for, Jack. If you really want to cut some corners in the initial construction to give Ruth what she wants, it'll have to be your decision. I hate to do it, Roy, but I think we'll have to. Oh, is Jimmy okay? You've been gone quite a while. He's fine. He's flying a bombing mission right outside. Jack, while I was outside, I got to thinking about the carpeting and other frills, and, well, I can get them later. Let's go ahead and use those quality building materials you want. You see, I'm Roy and I have been doing some thinking about the same thing, and you're going to have your house just the way you want it, carpeting and all. But I don't... Look, it's all settled. But I don't want it that way. That's the way it's going to be. Looks to me like you two are right back where you started. <laughs> <laughs> if you can stop laughing long enough, I think I can show you a way to have your cake and eat it too. Now he tells us. As you both know, you can't afford everything you'd like in this house right at the beginning. But why does it have to be a case of giving up one thing for another? Are you saying that we can have both my carpeting and Jack's building materials? In a way, yes. Look at it this way. Some things are never again as economical as when you first put them in. Your wiring and your plumbing, for instance. Those systems are truly built in, made a permanent part of the house. So let's install the best, the most modern wiring and plumbing we can right at the start. And that goes for anything else which has to be built in. But what about Ruth's carpeting? Let's not give up on that wall-to-wall -wall carpeting or any other convenience and beauty features you'll want in your home. 
Let's plan on the for later installation. Things like that can be added to your home at any time in the future and with no increased cost either. And as a matter of fact, I think if we take another look at that budget of yours, we may find that you can have your carpeting in, say, the living room right at the start. Well, I don't know. How about you, dear? Are you sold on the idea? Jack Miller, if you'd stop to listen to what I'm saying, you'd know that I came back here to tell you that I had the same idea. I stand corrected. <laughs> well, then, let's get back to the desk and put down some specifics. Thanks a million, Roy. We can hardly wait until you get started and the house is finished. Well, it won't take as long as you think. You'll see. I do hope we haven't been too much trouble with all our questions and doubts. Well, not at all. It's been a pleasure. And believe me, you've made the right decision. Well, so long, Roy. We'll probably see you out here next weekend. Oh, no! Jimmy, what on earth? We were establishing a beach at Honestly, and... Jimmy, can't you stay out of trouble for two minutes? I'm sorry. Now go over and say goodbye to Mr. Webb so we can get you home and into a tub. Bye, son. Bet you gave the enemy a real good fight. Sure did. You won't forget to build a room for me, will you? No, I won't forget, Jimmy. Well, as I told you earlier, building is more than just brick and lumber and hard work. Building is people, their problems, their hopes, and their dreams. That's why I wouldn't trade my job for anything in the world, because every so often I can help people solve some of those problems, perhaps make one of their dreams come true. In the end, I'm sure you'll agree the Millers made a wise decision. But how about you? When you build, be sure you build once and forever.